What it do, what it do, we are back with another video. This is coming to you from Gainesville, Virginia, and this was, uh, I don't know why it took me forever to get this video, this course on my channel. I've only played it like three times total, and, and every time I play it, I'm like, damn, this is arguably like the most scenic, beautiful course in the Northern Virginia area. Um, you're gonna see, I, I don't know what their signature hole is. I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb and just make one myself. Hole 15 is one of the most gorgeous views. Um, hole 17 is up there too, and you're gonna see it. I actually highlight it. It's a pretty long section of the video because it's a really, really cool portion. But this is just a quick tour of the pro shop and the clubhouse. I really wish I got their outside balcony. I think it's pretty cool. It overlooks hole 18, but again, I think the theme of today's video is just going to be how gorgeous some of the uh, some of the views are, and I try to do a good job highlighting it, and as I voice over this, I'll try to call out some of the cooler parts as well, but yeah, um, for those that are familiar with this course, I think you know it overlooks like, uh, I think it's Lake Manassas, or whatever the hell that lake is, but it's so cool. Anyway, shut up, Mark. They get it. It's cool. It's gorgeous. It's nice. On to the golf. So we are going to be playing the Blue Tees today. It's not an easy course by any stretch of the imagination. I think the Blue Tees are about 6,600 yards. It's playing to a 72.1 rating and a 141 slope. That's correct, a 141 slope. This is not an easy course. And you'll see why as I try to point out and call out some of the things that make it that tough course. But this is the range area. You're gonna see me drive the whole one in just a moment. And just as a fun fact, so for those that are in Northern Virginia or on the East Coast, this was taken on that two day stretch where it was an absolutely hot and just miserable, humid day. It, it was, a, just as a fun fact, this was actually the first time ever. It was cart path only because it was too hot. When the, when the starter told me that, I literally almost took my stuff, turned around and just left, canceled the tee time. So who had that on their bingo card for, uh, yeah, cart path only, too hot, never heard it before. And I'm not trying to give them a hard time. I guess the guy was trying to explain to me how apparently when it's this hot, the grass is so dry that driving on it can damage it. But anyway, here we go, hole one pulling up. Let's get it, let's get this bread. So hole one, if you can see here, for anyone that is a longer hitter, you'll see on the mini map, there's two bunkers with like a dog leg right. If you can carry it about 240 plus, 235, you're gonna be in position A down there. Because I'm not a long hitter and I'm not even that warm yet, I think I hit it exactly like 235, 240 into the right of those bunkers. So we do get lucky. We start off with an easy wedge into the green and always a good life when you're starting with a birdie opportunity on hole one. My mindset for today, and I can't promise that I deliver on it, but my mindset, as you can see, I set the tone here. We are not leaving birdie short. That's been my Achilles heel. It's just been a really bad habit of mine. We are going after every single putt, even if they're pars, you know, doesn't matter. Give yourself a chance, but not, a, not exactly the best start. You don't want to have like a five foot tester to come back. But anyway, on to hole two and the marshal is actually on the left. This is when he breaks the news to me um, that it's cart path only. Absolutely brutal. Got in my head and what happens next? We do a chunky monkey nine iron into a green. The, the shot tracer makes that look a lot better than it is. It kind of rolled another 10 yards. You can see I'm still short. Uh, luckily, I avoided the bunker and put Texas wedge, put the putter in my hand, give myself a chance. So even though that technically wasn't a putt on the card, we can basically say it's another quote unquote comfy two putt as we were putting off the green. But again, two comfy pars, two two putts, not a bad start to the round. Now the first par five, for those that have shot shaping in you, if you can hit a straight ball over those bunkers or even a little baby draw, that'll write it down here. And there was a camera error, by the way. I know, how funny is that? Hey, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, camera, camera error, as we're just 50 yards short of the green. So I hit a hybrid really pure. We put a wedge on, and ladies and gentlemen, that is three greens, three gers, and three two putts. We are even through three. This is gonna be a PR day, right? <laughs> hey guys, right? <laughs> uh, take a look at the mini map. There's literally like two places you can go OB, super far left and short. That first one, and this club has been giving me trouble lately. So the pin, I think this was like a 205-ish type pin. I was playing a smooth three hybrid, and the three hybrid's like my 215 club if I hit it really good. I wasn't even trying to stick it close. I just wanted to get it over, give myself a chance. We end up re-teeing. Uh, the re-tee was not great as we hit it into the bunker. So ladies and gentlemen, 
all that stuff I talked about, great start, easy, comfy pars, yeah, golf gods came back and got me. There's the triple for your boy. On to the next hole. For those that know, you got to have a memory of a goldfish if you have a bad hole. It's already behind me, believe it or not, already behind me. We stripe a fairway. We are back. This, I believe, was a 151 into the wind. And by the way, I forgot to mention that in addition to the heat, it was really, really windy. You're going to see some of my drives go fairly far, at least for me. Um, I think on the next hole, you'll see it. But then there are some holes. I think there was like one hole I was playing six iron into 140, 145. And yeah, that's like a 35, 40 yard club difference. It it was just crazy. This is one where I, I really, really catch. I think I measured it. It was closer to 280 on the card. I think the dry grass and the ball and, and the roll I got was really good. We end up laying it up. I think I was impacted. So I had, I think, 215 to the pin. I could have taken a three hybrid and attacked it, but me chunking it and having a really, really bad swing on the par three just a couple holes ago, impacted my decision this is me trying to play smart golf i end up taking an eight iron to lay up and rely on the short game funny enough i actually hit it to about pin high and rolled all the way back and had to putt back uphill but we're never mad again at a quote-unquote comfy par as i was technically a putt off the green so we're starting to lock back in we're starting to feel good we hit another green this was one of the more beautiful and gorgeous holes i should have called it out on that tee shot but you do have some homes on the right a lot of water and this is just a really really neat hole in the summertime so don't take that for granted we end up two putt comfy par couple holes left to finish up the nine and in my opinion this hole and the next hole they're just kind of boring straight board holes nothing too crazy par four straight at you have some bunkers the defense on this hole as you can see on the mini map and as you can see in front there's a lot of bunkers in front of the screen that you do not want to flirt with i actually end up taking 15 extra yards to make sure if i'm going to hit this ball it's going to cover those bunkers the downside was you can see that putt it might have looked a lot closer on camera but that was actually like a 25 footer we end up two putt parring again we are rolling outside of that triple we're rolling and then it's funny eight and nine as you probably see and just saw these two holes like whenever i replay holes in my head these are like the two same exact holes you know so my only commentary for the course architect here this hole in the last hole it's just I mean, just two of the same ones should have mixed it up. But anyway, be careful what you wish for. Look at this one. When you say mix it up, hole 10, we make the turn. This is a par four. This ball, I'm not kidding. The wind was so strong. That ball went a whopping like 200 yards. My driver went 200. Now, it was a spinny BS one, but... I end up hitting into the sand. We take a five iron to punch out, always just trying to get to a wedge to rely on my short game and score. So if I can get up and down, I hit a really good wedge shot. This is about six, seven feet. Can we make the putt? And remember that whole uh, whole speech about not leaving him short, giving him a chance. Good job, Mark. Good job, you imbecile. Uh, geez. So this one, and I don't know why I forgot to put all the yardages up. This one plays, I think, just a little over 300. All you long hitters that want to bomb it at the green, you can definitely try it. I think it's pretty cool. There's a few bunkers protecting it, but for anyone smarter than me, you don't need anything more than just like a 200, you know, maybe 210 club off the tee, and you'll still have a wedge in. So I end up going driver, sand wedge, and again, two putt, comfy par. And then this hole, man. Another gorgeous scenic hole between this and the walk to the next hole par five. You can see in the mini map, there's water. You can see in the background here, there's water. It is gorgeous, gorgeous hole. We end up taking a four iron. So the pin was playing, again, it was like a 170, 171 pin. I take four iron. That's how strong the wind was and crazy. I actually end up hitting it really good to pin high. We get up and down. And I'm very, very happy with the three here. Everyone's always happy with the par, goes without saying, but this one always kicks my ass look at this this is one of the coolest coolest tee shots i wish i took the camera actually i might have i don't remember but i wish i took the camera and kind of glanced around and showed that tee shot you have water everywhere you have the clubhouse in the background like man the views here and i'm really happy we caught it on a good day and then here again you know i was laughing because the par three i just had i was thinking all right the wind was in my face maybe the wind will help me here no the wind was somehow hurting again it's like the golf gods are trying to punish me I thought I pured my three hybrid over that bunker. We actually end up in it. I end up hitting a really good pitching wedge. That was a 90-yard pitching wedge to about um, 10 yards short on the left, and then we chip it 
really, really close. This is the Bobby Fairways. Bob does sports special, a little one-hander. It's good no matter what you do. So yeah, there it is on camera. It's good, right? And then we're getting into the last few stretch of holes. And this, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually going to be some of the most gorgeous stretch. And we started off with a block fade right. It's not going to hurt me. You can see him in the rough. The ball's way above my feet. I don't know if that's obvious by looking at it, but we end up pull hooking it into the bunker. So we're moving it forward, but we're not really attacking this hole until right now oh my god ladies and gentlemen you saw that right that is correct we just hold out we got the first birdie of the day and it comes no on a sandy bird but on to the next hole so this is arguably one of the coolest holes i don't think it's the signature but it's so gorgeous so there's a neighborhood intertwined i mean that's got to be like a couple mil Drop a comment. How much do you think that house is? I mean, I'll Zillow it. That's the hole we just finished and hold out on. No big deal. But here's why this course is so beautiful, man. Remember, we're in northern Virginia. Huh. Northern-ish Virginia in Gainesville. I mean, where do you see a view like this? Just golf over there. I'm pretty sure, what is this, Lake Manassas? Um, I mean, this tee shot... How beautiful it is. This is just so cool. What a course. So I mentioned in the beginning of the video that hole 15, I think, is the signature hole. Take a look at the mini map. You have trees and water all to your left. You have a dog leg left, uh, kind of very unique tee shot. Take a look again. I'm going to highlight the approach. Before I take this next shot, you can see my ball right there in the left fairway. Look how beautiful this approach shot is. I mean... This is just picturesque. All right, I'll stop. I know, I've been hyping up the course, how beautiful, gorgeous. I mean, but look at those clouds. I think we picked a really good day too. And maybe maybe I'm just being dramatic here because I'm used to just boring Northern Virginia golf where, you know, for those that have played like Algonquian, for example, it's just every par four is the same. I mean, look at this putt, look at that view. Um, man. So anyway, we're, we're rolling, by the way. We are three over at, oh no. Oh no, you hate to see it. We have a snap hook OB. That's been my miss, by the way. Um, anytime I try to really bop it, we do an over the top BS pull hook left. Of course, the second ball is just perfect in, in position A. What's the stupid saying? You know, you're, you're uh, the second ball, second golfer is on tour. I mean, it's kind of true. That was right dead center fairway. Leaves me with a pitching wedge in. You can see I blocked it right. I get so, so lucky. I wish I recorded the roll. It got like, it must have hit like a sprinkler head or something and just rolled to like five feet. Doesn't even matter if you're going to smoke the putt. And then take a look at this hole. I think anytime there's tournaments or scrambles or whatever, this is always like the closest to pin money holes. But look at this approach. All right. I mean, I don't even know. Jesus. All right, so I guess it's safe to say this is less than ideal. Don't think I've ever had this shot before. This is me. I'm trying to walk you through my thought process. I don't even know what to do. How do I get a club on it? Um, I was thinking about going like lefty and reversing a club, but we end up being able to do that, keep the balance. I mean, we blasted past. This is like 35 feet, but I mean, the goal is just to get it in play on the putting green and, oh man. You can see that thing just snapped a little bit. I actually thought I drained the putt. That would have been the coolest par ever. And here we go on to hole 18. Another beautiful finishing hole. Water all to your right. You have bunker and kind of OB driving range to your left. So it's a really, really narrow fairway. You are hitting back into the clubhouse. I decide to go three hybrids. So for those that have played this course, there's a creek right there running on your approach. I mean, that creek's only like a 150 carry. I decide to just go left. So there's this little bailout area you can see that I'm in. So for anyone playing this course, and if you're using this as like a course navigation, course scout, this approach shot, you want to favor that left uh, left hand side bailout area. You avoid water in the bunker. And man, it'd be really nice to finish with a birdie, a little four foot bird. Oh, no. Oh, no. You hate to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up the round. Uh, we're going to end up taking that par a second ago, so we smoke it. But what a round. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time.